Okay, here at the Heritage Trail, Raccoon Creek State Park. Nice rainy morning. Um, we're doing the entire uh, raccoon backpacking loop, which is, I think, 19 and a half miles. Supposed to be. Um, I am actually staying in a shelter tonight. Uh, it's supposed to be rainy and thunderstorms, and I don't feel like messing with trying to set up a, a hammock in this mess. So, um, because I'm staying in a shelter, I am doing my first ultralight trip. Um, since I don't have to carry a shelter, I just have a um, sleeping pad and um, and just a top quilt. So um, I'll go over the gear later. The uh, Nero pack. It, I got the, like I said, first ultralight, and this is uh, I have my pack is nine. My base weight is 9.75 pounds. To be ultralight, you have to be under 10. So I just made it. Um, I, I think super ultralight is under five pounds. I don't know how anybody does that. Um, and then lightweight is, depending on who you want to believe, uh, lightweight is either under 15 pounds or under 20 pounds, and that's base weight. Base weight does not include consumables like food, fuel, and water. So with my food, um, for one night of food, um, just, um, with one night of food and um, I have a little bit of water with me right now and a little bit of alcohol fuel. I am at probably about 16 pounds total pack weight. Now I'm not sure about the water situation at Pioneer. There's a water pump up there and it's very iffy. Last uh, review I read online said it's not working. I called the park office yesterday and the girl said it should be working, which doesn't give me much um, faith that it's going to be working. Traverse Creek. And uh, you got to do a road walk. It's about seven tenths of a mile before we get to the woods right by the boat launch. This forest trail used to go through the woods over here, but it is a uh, bridge got washed out years ago, so it's rerouted up the road. I'm with Becky, hiking with Becky. She uh, organized this hike, and uh, it's also um, Ruth. And then Ruth's boyfriend, Justin, up ahead. Um, he volunteered for this section to take out the spider webs. But we gotta go up this hill. This is one of the steeper climbs in the park. Not long, but just steep. But these roots make for nice steps. So I think what we decided to do, we're crossing uh, Route 18 right down here, is uh, we got about two miles till we get to uh, the Sioux backpacking area. We are going to uh, take the, the access connector trail. It's about uh, maybe a quarter mile over to the Sioux shelters from the main trail. And we're going to um, sit down and have a uh, snack break, fill up on some water at the water pump over there, um, which I'll discuss the water situation in a little uh, bit. Song of the day. I had a feeling I was going to get this one in my head because I heard it on the radio right before I got here. Um, I think it's called Big Girls Don't Cry <laughs> from Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. So that's, uh, that's the song of the day, unfortunately. <laughs> New bridge being constructed. Thanks to our work of volunteers over here. Uh, this bridge needed to replace pretty bad. Doing a good job on it. Alright, well the wind is picking up. It's starting to rain. And we are getting pretty close to the Sioux shelter area, the Sioux campground, because there's no hunting uh, signs. This one right here. So, uh, hopefully if everything goes as planned, we will get to the campsite right when it starts downpouring. We can jump in the shelters and wait it out. Well, we just walked about a quarter mile off of the main trail to come over to Sioux and take a break here and it stopped raining finally. And we're hanging out in the shelter, and there's a baby birds up here. I was wondering why mom was hanging around. <laughs> she can't get over to her nest. Baby bird. Mom's been hanging out over here on this little signpost, waiting for us to leave. So this is we're at the low point of everything right now. Uh, this is the main creek 
or one of the main creeks running through here, this bridge. Uh, last water source, um, possibly one of the last water sources. Hopefully the pump is working up at the camp where we can get it working. Uh, I don't even know how we would get down to get the water out of here. Um, it's sunny out, but it's just starting to rain again. Um, Appaloosa, the main trail continues to the right up here, but it's rerouted up the gravel road, so we're going up the gravel road. This is uh, one of the longest hills in the park. Well, we are taking the Appaloosa reroute. This is the first time I've been on this section since they rerouted it. And this will uh, make me officially having covered all the trails in Raccoon once again. Okay, uh, I got exactly 10 miles in 4 hours and 37 minutes. Counting the um, counting the time we stopped ever at Sioux to take a lunch break or snack break. Ooh, water rain starting in 10 minutes. I guess maybe I shouldn't go try to get water yet. Um, maybe I'll start unpacking a few things and see what the rain situation is like. Um, 10 miles, but uh, I'd say a half mile of that is the walk over to Sioux and then back to the main trail. So officially probably nine and a half miles on the main loop. Uh, I am in shelter two. Uh, Becky's over there in one, and then uh, Ruth and Justin over at three. Right so it is, I don't even know what time, it's way early. 3.15 <laughs> in the afternoon. So I'm gonna have plenty of time to worry about water. And I've never walked over to um, shelter number five, so I'm gonna check that out in a little bit. Uh, see what this rain situation looks like and then uh, check the radar and if it's gonna rain I'll just worry I'll just start unpacking stuff here yeah we're gonna get rained on very shortly here not a heavy rain but just enough that I can wait it out and tell the water as soon as it stops so I'll start uh, unpacking things maybe grab a quick snack and see where things go from there well, I figured while I'm doing this, I might as well show how I got this thing to ultra lightweight under 10 pounds base weight. Okay, got the uh, outdoor research helium rain coat. Got the uh, Z Packs rain kilt. There's nothing. Um, it's my water filtration system, Sawyer Micro, and um, uh, Evernew. Two, two liter bag, poop kit, uh, I did not count this in my base weight, this is my mixed drink mix, did not also, I did not count my fuel or my water in the base weight, empty bottle for my drink mix later, this is my new uh, water system that I'm working on this week. Run it through the cap and deliver this cap and this one water bottle. Quick, 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 clip it here. I can do this with one hand. Change out the contents. There we go, like that. Try not to get water all over everything here. Much prefer that than using a water bottle. This pocket here is for the uh, for my phone and for the GoPro. This pocket here, I just got um, snacks, snacks, uh, head net for bugs, and bug spray. Want to be able to quickly get to the that stuff. Okay. In the pack itself, I got my food bag. I got like two and a half pounds of food. That does not count for base weight. Got my other sit pad. I usually have it on the back of here, but I wanted to keep this dry as an extra pillow. I got my cook kit. Um, I got my sleeping pad. Uh, climate Static V non-insulated. 
it's only supposed to get down to the right around upper 50s tonight, maybe 60. This is my uh, electronics bag, chargers, um, battery pack, headlamp. I do have one other luxury item in here. It's a, uh, I brought a little, uh, it's a light that has a, um, a yellow light feature on it. I figured we're probably not going to have a fire. We're just hanging out. The yellow light does not attract bugs anywhere near as, as much as a, a white light from a headlamp or anything. This is my first aid kit. And, uh, and just this little REI towel I usually keep on the outside, but I wanted to keep it dry today. Micro fleece towel. And the last two things are my, I just have my under quilt and dry bag. Or, yeah, I'm uh, sorry, top quilt. And then this is the heaviest thing in the bag is my spare clothes, my dry camp clothes. And um, I don't even have a puffy with me. Just had a long sleeve shirt. And then and that's it. The bag, let's see, yeah, that's the empty bag. That's uh, that's my ultralight setup. I could get it a little lighter if I didn't bring that, that light that's in this bag here. And if I didn't bring an extra sit pad, which pretty much doesn't mean much of anything anyways. Other than that, I don't know what I can do to lose weight. I just saw, I think, uh, there must have been an issue with uh, shelter number three. Because Ruth and uh, Justin just walked over to shelter four and looks like they're setting up over there. Oh. All right, maybe I'll get this uh, sleep pad laid out. Let's see. Let's see what I got. Oh, there's one other thing. Where is it? Hopefully I put it back in. Oh, crap, I forgot to put it back in my bag. This is my ground cloth for my hammock. It's uh, just a piece of Tyvek. I'll lay that down first. Keep everything. That weighs nothing. It's about 10 after 4. And uh, Earth and Justin went up and they came back with water. So the water pump is working. Got my socks dry, collected firewood. Um, and Becky had a good idea to collect firewood before it starts raining. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep some stuff dry here as best I can. I don't know if there's anywhere to have a community fire pit. Um, the only community area is down there by the uh, that old picnic table and the bear pole. And then uh, there is up in, around the tent area there's a like a community fire pit up there. But, um, which the tent area is right up behind where I'm at. Nobody else here. Oh, they said they moved out of three because there was an active bird nest and there was evidence of termites in there. So they're over in four. All right, 20 after four. Here's the radar situation. And I'm right in that yellow right now. It's coming down pretty good. Not very windy, but yeah, definitely a pretty good serving. Good thing I got all this wood. Got my socks drying. And I just laid out this batch of rain here, and since I am changing to my dry clothes, uh, I'm going to wait. Obviously, I'm definitely waiting for a little bit to get water, although I am getting pretty low. That's all the water I got left. It's about a quarter mile walk up to the water pumps, so uh, it's kind of a two-person operation up there. One person's got to hold the water bag, one person's got to pump the pump. So. Uh, me and Becky are going to go up, and I guess, uh, whenever she's ready. And uh, uh, we'll get some water. All right, 524. And, uh, we just went up and got water. So I uh, should be good to go till, till, uh, sometime mid tomorrow. Hopefully. Uh, so I made my mixed drink. And I got water boiling for dinner. Here's dinner. I'm having Thanksgiving dinner. I got uh, mashed potatoes and turkey stuffing in the bag. I'll add more and water to that. Then I'll throw in some deli turkey. And turkey gravy mix. I don't know how I'm going to do this. If I should just pour the bag in with the, the other dry stuff. I probably should. But this thing says it calls for this whole package needs one cup of water. I'm boiling two cups for this here. I don't know. Maybe I'll just, uh, I'll probably just throw it, throw it all together. But I haven't tried it before. We'll see what happens. I'm taking a walk over to Shelter 5 because I've never seen it before. 
And uh, I guess there is like a little community fire pit down here. Another huge tree, and this looks very recent actually. Just tell by the dirt. Wonder if anybody was inside this shelter when that happened. <laughs> they would have been crapping, crapping themselves. This shelter is laid out way more secluded than the other ones. You can't even see the other shelters when uh, all these leaves are on the trees. But uh, this one has a shelf, um, and it actually has hooks to hang your stuff off of. Shelter 5, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, I just heard what sounded like people up near the group camping area. Let me sign for yelling. So there was people that I heard um, coming down the trail. There was a, uh, a couple, I would say they were in their early 50s maybe. Um, Came over, they talked to Becky. And they came over, talked to me. It seemed like nice people. Then the woman, they turned around to walk over there. They were just out for a day hike. Um, they turned around to walk over that way. And the woman had this pair of jean shorts on <laughs> um, that made Daisy Dukes look like long pants. <laughs> it was, <laughs> there was nothing covering her ass cheeks at all. It is 8 o'clock. We decided to bring all the firewood I collected down here around the, uh, by the bear pool and have a community fire. So we're just all hanging out down here now. Wet wood going pretty decent. Fortunately, I collected a lot of it before it got rained on too bad. Okay, it is 9.40 p.m. Um, starting to wrap things up here. I'm about to have these Snicker bars, and uh, then I can uh, pack up all my stuff and go hang it on the bear pole down there. Um, and just kind of drying stuff as best I can. Didn't get too soaked, but this is the other luxury item I brought with me that I didn't need. Um, this little uh, light thing, uh, USB charger, USB charged. So I got three different white light settings and I got these two yellow light settings which the bugs are not as attracted to the yellow light so I'll be using that as soon as I finish things up I'll just do it now what the heck uh, it'll stand like that and I can hang it off of something There's an, this is the one filter in this whole thing that doesn't have anything except um, one nail to hang stuff on over there no, that might be it for the night, we'll see. It is uh, almost 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's really nice with the sun on those trees out there like that. Uh, I just, uh, it's about 61 degrees. And I just heard uh, somebody coughing out there. So somebody's awake. I slept my crap on the ground again. I can't sleep on the ground. I was trying to fall asleep last night. It sounded like a tree was cracking in half and then never like crashed on the ground. I was waiting for the crash and it never happened. So I don't know what happened. Let's see if I'm interested if anybody else heard that. Alright, 8.30. packed up it's amazing how quick it gets packed up when you don't have a, a shelter to back up <laughs> uh, so it seems like yeah everybody else is up I haven't seen anybody over talked to anybody yet but, um, I don't have a whole lot more to do all right leaving camp quarter after nine weather's supposed to be good today uh, doesn't look like 
really much chance of rain. And uh, temps in the uh, low 70s. But everything's going to be wet. Um, drooping over the path, so we're going to be soaked. Song of the day. Day two, song of the day. Um, Blondie, Heart of Glass. I don't know where that one came from. I haven't, don't remember hearing that on the radio recently. But the, that's the song of day two. And this section of the trail gets real uh, iffy right here. But the, it's almost unnavigatable. <laughs> it's almost unrecognizable as a trail right now. I'm like all crouched down trying to go through here. But Justin's back out in front right now, taking out all the spider webs. Okay, coming out into the field where the uh, old resort used to be, I believe, right here. Where all the rich folks used to come from Pittsburgh back in the 1800s to stay at the resort and then get healed down at the Mineral Springs down at the hill. So I think we're going to take a break down here. There used to be a, a shelter down here, but uh, it got graffitied so much that they tore the shelter down. It's just uh, basically a concrete slab right now. So here's the trail down to the Mineral Springs itself. And here's the, what's left of the shelter right here. Lunchtime. So, here's the Mineral Springs. finished the bridge since last time I was out here. It's cool down here. Got back to the car right around 2 o'clock. 11.3 uh, miles. Uh, it says elevation gain, 7,270 feet. I don't know about that. Uh, took moving time. It was actually 4 hours and 12 minutes. I, mean, I guess we stopped for about 40 minutes for uh, lunch break. Average pace, 2220, 2,192 miles. That is a little loop. Uh, 11.3 today. Exactly 10 yesterday. 21. Point three minus, let's say a half a mile for us uh, cutting over to Sioux yesterday. So uh, twenty-one point three minus point five, whatever that equals, twenty-one point eight or twenty twenty point eight. I guess would be the whole loop. Uh, yeah. Ever since uh, Mineral Springs, me and Justin were were killing it over here. We were going pretty good. I feel like we were doing at least three and a half miles the whole way from Mineral Springs. I won't know until this thing decides to download. There's no way we did 7,200 feet of elevation. So anyways, that is the Raccoon Creek uh, loop completed. Uh, we are right here at the parking lot. Uh, this is an old map. Now you have to go down to the road, follow the road, get into the woods, and do the whole loop over here. Up here, we ran, we cut over to Sioux, take a break, back over. Finish Forest Trail, we get on Appaloosa here where Forest Trail ends. 
up here. We cut over and we came in the back way to Pioneer. Next morning back out, day two, there's day two, all the way down Appaloosa. You turn off Appaloosa onto Heritage there. And Heritage, longer day two. All the way across, past Mineral Springs, across the road. Uh, this is where the uh, pine plantation is. Here. And then back to the store where we're at now.